Good morning. The old fish went back with you again. Let me pull it up on a brush pile and caught this wall ago. Look at the size of that crap. You think that ain't a big one? Huh? That's a jumbo magnet. Gee, we gonna try to get on some of these white birds. Now, we caught one crab that got hung up in the dog one brush pile and broke the line. And we are gonna try to pull up here on a hump and try to catch some white birds. Hopefully they'll bite and turn off this dog on radio and see what we can do. Holy monster. Drop it down, hopefully we can catch some today. Drop it down and try. I tell you, it's a windy day, we got rain coming in, Saturday morning, and Gamecocks play this afternoon. Can't get no better than this. Huh, we gonna pull out here and try to catch up a dog on a white perch. I tell you, I started the first thing this morning I got here, I ain't done much. Went over to the crappy brush pile, I bought two dozen minnows to try minnows. I see them sitting up here, and uh, <clears throat> I dropped out as soon as it got down. There's one. There's one. As soon as it got down, I caught me a jumbo. Uh oh, he got off. Jumbo man. Crappy. And I said, This is going to get good. This is going to get good. So, what I do? I dropped back down too deep, hung the brush pile, and never caught another one. Believe that or not. That's the only one I caught. Wind's blowing hard to hold the boat out there and uh, never caught a nut in this. There's another bite. Ah, I think that's a little one. I think that's a little one. Holy monster. Ain't no big one, but hey, he's a dead gone perch. You got to love that. We back at it again on this lake. The lake I love. Lake Monticello. Fish the last two days on Lake Murray. Ain't really done. I mean, I caught a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Made a couple videos. I don't know if I'll put them on. I don't know if Miss Deborah wants to put them on or not. They ain't really that good. Caught a few. Uh, got one catching a bass, bumping, using a berry spoon, one ounce berry spoon, and they will hit it. I caught a bunch of rock fish, little ones, throwbackers. I didn't catch any keeper of rock fish. It was, uh, it was really bad. Doesn't know. There's a few fish out here. We just got to get them going. We just got to get them going. Hopefully we can catch a couple. Doggone, who knows? These jokers, they uh, wild door dropped out here with a, and, uh, with a spoon. That big berry spoon that I was talking about, a one ounce, I had in Lake Murray, I had on my rod. I dropped it out and jerked it a couple times, went to reel it up, give up, and a darn bass crushed it. Spit it out the top of the water. And, uh, hey, there's one. Perch don't seem to be that big this morning unless my drag is loose. I don't know. Ain't that bad. They, they kind of small, though. Hey, Lake Monticello catching doggone perch again is what I'm doing. You got to love it. Drop it back down. I tell you, ain't nothing like fishing. Love and life. That's what we do. Love and life. It, it's, something comes over me when I get on this water. This something comes over me, and it's almost next to being in hell for me. That's what I love. Hey, it's unique to know what you love and then get good at it and enjoy it. That's unique, people. And you see, we catching a few. We catching a few on Lake. Monticello, two at a time, you got to love it, two at a time, huh, you got to love that, ain't you, two at a time, Jumbo Magnum, look at that, Jumbo Magnum, both of them, hey, both of them nice, one's big enough, but hey, both of them nice, look at that, you got to love that, old fish, doing it again, on Lake Monticello, got me a new trolling motor, got me an all three digital, hey, we cooking the style now. Got me a lot of power. I got 55 pound truss this time. I had 45 before. Now I got a lot more power. Only problem is I can't have it wide open. It'll whip the old fisherman out the lake. We don't need to go swimming. I can swim now. I don't know how easy it'd be getting back in this boat. So I don't need to get whipped out, of, out in the lake. We're gonna pull back up. We're we fishing on our old favorite little hunt. There we got a little point coming out. Point of the hump next to the deep channel. Remember that. Point of the hump next to the deep channel. I know we're looking into the 
the wind. That doggone wind is blowing me the direction where the camera is going to be at the wind. And I hate that. It don't make a good picture, but that's the way it is. We're going to pull back up here again and try to catch us another jumbo bag. There ain't nothing like jumbo magnet. I'll tell you that slab crappy. I got a video of catching that one crappy. I might put it on. One crappy. I just knew I was gonna sit down there and blister. Caught that one crappy and got hung up in the brush and could not get a bite after I got hung up in the brush. People, anytime you catch a fish that fast, especially a crappy, and then jump by, right back and get hung up in the brush, you done messed up most of the time. In this lake you have, this jokers know you there. They hit it. They hit it. They know you there. And let me tell you, they will not bite. I don't know if they leave. They just quit biting. They won't bite. And uh, look at that. Look at that. Catch it. Tall gone. Jumbo magnum. Shoot. Look at it. Huh? What? Oh, my. Oh, my. The old fisherman is going to have him a large time. This day, I can see it. Two monocella white perch again. Peace. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. That wind is blowing. Rain's coming in. And guess what? The fish bite. Some of them ain't as big as what I caught the other day. Now these are a little bit smaller. These fish, the other day I didn't catch any smaller. Today I'm catching a few smaller. The jumbo magnums might have left out and the mini mites come in. But hey, you can't be choosy. Beggars can't be choosy. I think we're going to get to go shrimping next week. So next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I won't be making any perch videos, but I might be making the shrimp. I'm definitely going to make a how-to to mix your bowl if we go and set up the poles. Might be a, I don't cut my videos, so it's going to have to be uh, live making how to make the bowls up at home. And then we get out on the water, I'll make a video on, you know, the poles being set, maybe throwing throwing a, a couple nets, but it's going to be hard to do that. But hopefully I, we'll catch a couple and I can make a couple parts of a video and I put it on for you to see how that shrimping is. That's a pretty area down there. Miss Deborah's going to get, the, hopefully, and she ain't asked the ball shit, she might can't take off. I might be talking too quick. But uh, she's going to try to get off next Friday and Monday. And we're going to Beaufort, South Carolina, and thanks to a lady, a friend of mine, uh, we're going to have a place to stay in a, in a, in a little tangy village down there. And we're going to go shrimping. And if nothing else, we're going to go down there and have a little time off, a little mini vacation. What we going to do? There's one. There's one. Oh, my. Huh. Oh, my. What? Oh, my. A little of day, though. Hey. I've been catching jumbo magnums in here today. They're kind of small. Uh, they really are. I don't know why, but they are. They're kind of small today. So, hey, it is what it is. You got to catch what bites, but I'm sure some bigger ones around here somewhere. Maybe we get lucky in a minute and they'll move in. Hopefully. They hit that dog with a dog jig, though. Take it. Hit the dog jig. Uh, them about tore a boba a month. They hit the triple ripple again today. That's what we're fishing with. Triple ripple with an eighth ounce head and a number four lead above the last jig. That's what we're doing. Hopefully we can catch a few before they leave. There was a good many down there. I just don't know how big they are. And they won't, they probably won't bite long. And they normally don't. You got to get down there and hit them quick. Or they'll leave. What they do? They do that real good. Like them doggone crappies. I know there's more crappies than one out there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Might be two. I don't know. There you go. No, I don't believe I got but one. I don't believe I got but one. I ain't got but one. He ain't that mo he ain't no monster. But hey, that white perch. I'm bit the tail off my jig. Oh, it's going already. Huh? Already. I'm bit the tail off the jig. That is a nudging if I can get him on. There's a nudging right there. I got them laying all up here on the boat, you know. That's why I keep them laying here. I don't have to dig in that doggone box and get a nudging. 
I can just reach up and grab one. I'm running out of different colors up here, though. Drop it back down. See if we can catch another monocellar doggone perch. And the sun is glistening right on the water right in my camera. And I see it. I'm going to try to turn it. I'm going to try to turn it. Hopefully we can get some more. Drop it down. I just did wrong size. ain't the magnet like I want. But hey, can't be picky, I don't guess. Got a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Kind of slacking off a little bit. Got to pull back up this ridge. They're on this ridge up there. Pull back up this ridge. And see if we can't catch another one. Oh, ain't good. Ain't gonna fight it. Ain't good. Alright. I'm in uh, 41, 42 foot. Maybe I need to get up to 30 so I catch it again. I'm going to pull up this ridge here and kind of troll it. I don't want to get it. Yeah, we got Clemson playing tonight, Carolina playing Vanderbilt at 4 o'clock. Uh, I get to watch it finally. I kind of let that little job I had down at the university go. I wouldn't be fishing today if I was still doing that job. I basically give up that job. I, it was a nice little job. It was too many hours to make that little bit of money. And it was uh, it was really aggravating because it's hard to get out of that place after a ball game. And I decided it's time for me to give that little job up. I've been doing that for about 10 years. Time for me to give that job up. So I did. Too much hassle. I, just too much hassle into getting in and out of there. One time we used to leave the ball game started. They want you to stay an hour after the game. And let me tell you, that hour after the game takes you two hours to get home. And I ain't doing that no more. I decided it was time to quit that. And I ain't got to worry about being down there on Saturday. If I want to do something else, I want to go fishing. Like next week, me and Miss Deborah are going to go to shrimping. I ain't got to worry about that job. So, hey, as a Starting time for everything, and there's a quitting time for everything. That was my quitting time. Somebody else can have it. The old fishing. Rather be fishing in a. Right now, they just quit. They just flat quit. I believe some. I see them largemouth done come in again. What's that? Them largemouth done moved in here. I see them. I'm going to throw that dang on big spoon out and see if we catch one of them. I see some big hooks. And I know what that is. That's the doggone large man. Now move in down there. Let me put the spoon out there so we can catch one of them. And it runs them doggone perch out. That's what it does. It runs them out. See if we can catch one on the spoon, large man. I had one a while ago, hit the spoon on the way up, reeling it up. Maybe they'll reel it up and catch them. But uh, I had one a while ago, hit it, reeling up. Reel it up a couple now and see what happens. It's fish still down there, but I think they're large mouth. And when them more large mouth move in, them they gonna perch leave. They'll leave every time a jerk comes down. Want to hit it? A lot of times them large mouth, they like a high jerk. You want to jerk it up high like it's running away from them and stopping. That's what you want to do. They, they'll come up and get it. And not all the time, but you got to try it to know. You know what I'm saying? You got to try it to know. And we was on them perch, and now they just quit. And they ain't hitting nothing. 